Dofus, Dofus, which was, uh, you know, which I got a bunch of people together, and I had some gamelan there, and all the Brazilian guys, uh, Brazilian guys, Ayerto Flora, and we put, all, you know, we put all these instruments on the stage, and we just went after it, no rehearsal, and there was this crazy Professor Johnson, and he had this three-track machine. And, you know, it was a stereo machine, but he had a center channel that was a huge center channel that was just for the bass. So what I did was I put Meyer speakers in Bill Graham's club, which was the Kabuki Theater in Japantown. And so all of the sounds came out. A lot of the sounds went into the room. There was nobody in the room. We just rented the room. And Keith mic'd the room, and he mic'd it, like, against the walls or something. You know, and he's an amazing uh, recordist. And we just went after it. And these, and these, were, uh, these were the recordings from it. It was just a magical session. Bobby Vega was playing bass, and, but all of it was percussion and voice. And you know what, the thing about this one, it was made for audiophiles. So this was the first real audiophile Johnson was an audiophiliac. Is that, <laughs> is, is that a word? Audiophiliac? No. Uh, anyway, Virgin Vinyl. And it was, it was the test record. You'd go to any kind of convention that they were trying to show off any kind of system, and you'd hear Dofus because John Meyer measured one of the sounds that I uh, created on this from the Beast that I built for Apocalypse at I think it was like 12 cycles or something. It was one of the lowest recorded notes uh, that he that has ever been imprinted on vinyl. And it blew out thousands of subwoofers around the world. And I would get all of these letters, you know, he said, you blew my system up or, you know, this and that. I, and I was, and I'm happy. Well, right? you actually, you actually, <laughs> Pushed the whole. No, what I did thing is over. I picked it up. Yeah. I picked up the whole, the ring that the beast was on, mm -hmm. and in, in my, um, in my zest or whatever it was, I was playing, 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 and I couldn't think of anything else to do. So I picked the whole frame up and I just dropped it on the floor. You know, maybe like a foot. I picked it up a foot. You know, I, I, mean, I don't know if I can even do that now. <laughs> and, and I picked it up a foot and I just let it go and went. Whoa! And that reverberated in the room, and that's how we got that that uh, subsonic sound. When it was originally released on vinyl, wasn't it mastered at, at uh, 45 RPM? Yes, not, it was. Rather than 33? That's right, it was. It was mastered at 40, it was an LP at 45. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. I think reference recordings, uh, that was one of the things that they specialized in, was making very high-end recordings and often at 45 RPM. Yeah, very good, yeah.